Hi everyone and welcome back to the Brush and Bubbles channel. I hope that you're all doing well and that you're excited to do some painting with me today. So I thought it would be really fun to paint one of our favourite things and we've had loads of requests for this. So today we are going to be painting one of our faves, a house plant. I'm going to be going for quite a rustic wall. They're sort of quite typical of walls that you'd find in Morocco and I absolutely love them. They've got quite earthy colours and tones and loads of texture in there. So that's going to be the background for our painting and then we're going to pop a little house plant in a pot in the foreground. So if you're new to our channel, then welcome. We take everyone through step by step of a canvas painting. So please don't worry if you haven't painted ever or since school, because we're gonna go through everything nice and slowly. I'll be showing you a few tips and tricks and techniques. I'll be showing you how I'm mixing up my colors and you can simply follow along from the comfort of your own homes. Like always everyone, just feel free to change up your colors and your composition of your own paintings. So before we jump in, I'm just going to talk you all through what you'll need to create this at home. I've just covered up my table with an old dust sheet, but you can use some newspaper or an old tablecloth. You'll need a canvas, a few paintbrushes, I have a medium, small and teeny weeny size. You'll then need some kitchen towel to dab your brushes on, a glass of water, a palette to put all of your paints in, and last but not least, your acrylic paints. Once we get started, I'll be showing you which paint colours I'm using and if you want to, you can simply apply the same to your palette. But like I mentioned, please feel free to use any colours and shades that you wish. And without further ado, let's jump straight into our painting. In my paint palette, I have white, black, pink, a dark green, some yellow and blue paint. We're going to start by covering up the whole background of our canvas. So you can choose any colour that you want for this. And I'd recommend using your slightly bigger medium square shape brush. So I'm just going to dip mine in the water. So loosen up the bristles, dab it on the kitchen towel. And then moving over to my palette, I'm going to mix up my background colour. So I want to go for quite a neutral earthy shade for my background. I'm going to keep it with the pink sort of undertones, but I want to give it more of a grey kind of feel. So to start with, I'm just going to mix up a light grey. I'm going to pick up a scoop of white paint, quite a big scoop because we want to fill the whole background. So we just want to make sure we're mixing up enough paint. And then to this, I'm going to add a tiny little bit of black and just mix it in. So I have a really light grey shade here and I might need to go slightly darker but I'm just going to start introducing my pink first just so I can suss out what kind of colour I'm making. So I'm just going to pick up a little bit of my pink and mix it into that grey. I want to go slightly darker with my shade so I'm just going to introduce a little bit more black paint and also a little bit more pink and I'm just going to keep doing this until I'm happy with the shade. So I've got here a nice sort of dusty rose colour but I just want to brighten it up slightly so I'm going to add a tiny little bit of yellow to it and give it a good mix again. So I'm happy with this colour I've got for my background so now I'm just going to apply it onto the canvas. So this is the fun bit because we're just going to apply it everywhere all over the canvas and it's up to you you can either be quite smooth with backwards and forward strokes with your paintbrush or you can be a little bit more choppy with your paint as well i quite like being a little bit more choppy just because it gives it that sort of moroccan wall feel which i really like it just makes it slightly more textured and what we can do once we've covered all of this up is actually just go back in and pick up some more of our paint that we've just got straight off the tube and just mix it back in so just spend a moment covering up your whole canvas and don't forget to do the top and the sides as well while the paint we've just applied is still wet what we can now do if you want to is you can just pick up some of your pure colors so i'm just going to pick up some of my pink with that same paint that i've already used on my brush what we can start to do is just blend it into sections of our canvas just to give it a little bit more texture and tone just introducing some of that brighter shade back in there you could even pick up a little bit of yellow and blend that in again i'm just being quite choppy with my paintbrush just because i want the background to look quite textured 
you want to, you could always reintroduce a little bit of white paint. And I'm just using quite crisscrossy motions with my brush. I'm working quite quickly, as you can see, just to allow the paint to sort of blend in with the paint underneath before it dries. What's nice about this is we can just add loads of different layers. So if you don't like a little section that you've just added, you can just reintroduce some of the colour that you had originally back in and go back into it. So just carry on blending in these different shades until you're happy with your background. Soon as you're happy with your background, we're just going to leave it to dry for a moment. So you can just pop down your medium brush and we can pick up one of our smaller brushes. And now all we're going to do with this is mix up a few different shades that we're going to be using for our leaves. So it's a nice opportunity to leave our background to dry a bit while we focus on mixing up these colours. So essentially what we want is a couple of different shades of green. So to start with, I'm going to mix up my darker shade of green. So with my small brush, I'm going to pick up some white as my base. And then to this, I'm going to add a big scoop of my green, a big scoop of blue, and a big scoop of yellow and give it a good mix. And to darken up this colour slightly, I'm just going to introduce a little bit of black and give it a good mix. I would just add this really gradually because you can always add more. We're now going to mix up a lighter shade of green, which will be the colour that we've got for our leaves. So I'm going to keep this paint on my brush and I'm just going to mix up my colour in this dish here. Again, I'm going to start with a large amount of white as my base, maybe two scoops of white. And then to this, I'm going to add a little bit of green, some blue and some yellow and give that a good mix. So it's up to you what kind of shade you're going for for your own leaves. So you can keep experimenting with your greens until you're happy. So naturally, just by mixing blue and yellow together, you get a green shade. And then obviously by mixing the blue, yellow and green together, you get a different shade. To this paint we've just added more white so it's naturally more pastel and to this one we've just added more black so it's a little bit darker so you can have an experiment with your shades if this is too pastel for you you can just start adding in some more green some more blue and some more yellow to darken it up but if you're happy you can stick with this shade the last color we're going to mix up is for our stalks so again i'm just keeping this same green on my brush and i'm going to mix up this color here i'm going to start with a scoop of white again maybe two. I'm then going to add some blue, yellow and green to this. But I'm also going to add a little bit of pink and this should give it more of a red brown undertone. So give that a really good mix. So that yellow and pink just really helps give it more of a beige brown tone to this shade and then if you want to darken it up slightly you can just add the tiniest little bit of black to it. I'm also just going to add a small amount of green back into this as well. As soon as you're happy with those three colours we're just going to give this brush a good wash in our water. As soon as our background is dry we're now just going to move on to painting in the first layer of our plant pot. So pick any brush that you like for this. I'm just going to use a really small one and we're just going to start by using some white paint. So picking up some of this white paint with your smaller brush, just decide now where on your canvas you want your plant pot to be. I'm going to have mine coming out from the bottom of my canvas and I might actually just have it off centre. So I think I'm going to place it on the bottom right hand corner. So all I'm going to do is decide where I want the top of the plant pot to be and I'm just going to draw a line across. I'm now just going to make this into more of a sort of rectangle shape. So I'm just going to bring it down on either side and then square it off and fill it in. Once 
once you're happy with that, we're now just going to pick up some more white paint and just draw the base. So what I like to do, you just come in a slight bit on either side and just do a little dot as a reference for yourself. And then with this, we can then draw a line and I like to sort of bring it in slightly diagonally as it comes down to reach the base of the canvas. And I wouldn't worry too much about this because we can and we are going to go over it with a different colour or some more white paint if you still want your plant pot to be completely white. But this is just our first layer. So once you're happy with the sort of shape, just go ahead and fill in this whole section with white paint. Soon as you're happy with your plant pot, you can just give your brush a little wash. We're going to move on now to painting in our leaves. So it's completely up to you what kind of shape you want to do for your leaves. I'll be showing you the ones that I'm doing and they're sort of like heart shapes in a way with a bit more wobble to them. So for my leaves I'm going to use this lighter shade of green that I made earlier, the pastel colour, and I might just switch between my two different small brushes. So for now I'm actually going to go to my medium side small pointy brush. I'm just going to pick up some of this green and I'm just going to start painting in my first leaf. So we want these sort of coming out from this sort of area and spraying around um, this side, maybe coming off the edge of the right hand side, depending on where you've put your plant pot. So obviously mine's on the side, so I probably have a little bit of a gap around this area. But if you've got your straight bang in the middle, you'll have them coming off on either side. So just start small, I would say, just so you can get a sense of what you're doing. So I'm just going to do an, a heart shape, essentially. So just the top of the heart like this, bring it down to a point, and then the same on the other side. And essentially the leaves I'm doing are just like heart shapes. I'm just going to fill it all in with this same green shade. And then what you can do is you can give it a little bit of a sort of wobble so it doesn't look too perfect. The great thing about painting anything in nature, especially leaves and trees, is none of them look completely perfect. All of them are a little bit different, a little bit individual, so you can definitely get away with having some wobble in there. So I always like to re-add it in if you feel like it looks a little bit too perfect. We can then move on to painting in our next leaf. And so I think the nice thing about this is just making sure you're doing them in slightly different shapes and slightly different sizes. So you can do a few smaller ones and a few bigger ones. I'm not gonna focus on the area around the pot for the moment just because it's still wet. So I just want to allow it a little bit more time to dry. So I might just do one that's coming up here and it might be slightly smaller and it might actually be sticking up. So the heart's gonna be the other way around. So I'm just gonna start with the point just do a little heart-like shape like that and fill it in. So we just want to carry on now, adding in our different shaped leaves, having them coming off in different directions. I might want to ha might have one coming off this sort of side. And then as the leaves that we've already done start to dry, it's quite nice to overlap them. So if they naturally sort of meet each other while you're painting them in, just let them overlap and decide which one you want in front of the other one. So I might have one up here, sort of overlapping this other small one. Just carry on now, adding as many leaves as you want to your painting, making sure some of them are overlapping, some of them are slightly smaller than other ones. And I would just leave the area by your pot just until the last moment, just because then we will go back in and add some that sort of lay over the top of the pot as well. So for now, just focus on adding 
the leaves that you want in this sort of section. And then make sure wherever you hit the side of your canvas, feel free to just have them sort of wrapping around the edge of your canvas as well. So it just flows over the edge and the sides and the top. So as you get closer to your plant pot, what you can start to do if you feel like it's dry enough is you can just overlap maybe one or two of the leaves with your plant pot just so it looks nice and natural. So I'm just going to put a small one here. I'm just going to have it overflowing with the plant pot. And now's your moment to have a little look at your painting, decide if you want to go back in and change up any of the shapes of your leaves, if you want to make some of them a little bit more wobbly, if you want to make the point at the end a little bit more pointy and crisp, you can now just spend a little bit of time going back in to your painting, making sure the ones that are hitting the edge sort of wrap around the sides. And then we'll move on to the next section. So we're going to move on to drawing in the sort of the vines or the stems or the stalks of the leaves. So for this, I'm going to pick up my smaller brush and I'm going to move over to that colour that we made beforehand. This sort of, it's almost like a grey tone. I might actually even add a little bit more yellow to it and a little bit more pink just to make it slightly more red or brown in, in tone. So if you want to change up your colour, feel free to do that now. Picking up some of this colour, we're now just going to paint this. Where our leaves, where the sort of um, heart shape here is, I would just start drawing a line going down. Some of them will go behind the other leaves and just sort of make a sort of rough line where it would naturally come down and meet this plant pot. So just be quite careful that you're not going over the edge of the plant pot too much. Don't worry too much about it because we are going to be painting the plant pot. But I would just be nice and careful with this. And then what we can do as well is we can actually bring these up so they sort of look like they're curved and then go down behind some of the other leaves. Just have them coming back and joining. So we just want to make sure that any of the leaves where we would naturally see the stem, we're seeing them. So just take your time, adding these in. Again, some of them will go behind some of the other leaves and don't worry if you're overlapping them too much, we can always go back to our leaf colour and sort of fill, fill, them, fill them in, cover up any of the mistakes we're making. So just take your time, there's no rush with this. We can now move on to creating the colour or the colours, depending on what you want to do for our plant pot. So I'm just going to give my small brush a really good wash. Moving back over to my palette, I'm just going to mix up my plant pot colour now. So I think I want to go for quite a grey coloured blue tone. So I'm going to start with some white as my base and add a little bit of black to it and just give it a good mix to make a grey. And then to this, I'm just going to add some blue and give it another mix. What I'm then going to do is just split this colour in half. So I've just drawn a line down it because I want one half to be slightly lighter and the other half to be slightly darker. So to this section here, I'm just going to add, um, I'm just going to introduce a little bit more blue and a tiny, tiny little bit more black, just so it's a little bit darker. I'm going to give it a good mix. 
So there I have two colours, one slightly lighter, one slightly darker, and they're both greys, but with a little blue undertone to them. So I'm going to start with my lighter shade. So I'm just going to wash off that dark colour from my brush and then picking up some of this lighter shade, I'm just going to start painting over my whole pot. So what I like to do is where I'm painting this top section, I quite like to go across the canvas with my paintbrush strokes, just being nice and careful, just so I can see where the different areas of the pots are. So you can sort of just use your paintbrush strokes just to help you with that. I'm just overlapping those stems slightly, just so it looks like the stems are going down into the pot. And then I'm just going to be really, really careful when I get to the area where my leaf is, just because I want to make it look like the pot is behind the leaf. Don't worry too much about this, because like I mentioned before, we can always go back in with our leaf colour and sort of fix it slightly. Just paint that in now. And then when I get to this area of my pot, I'm just going to add a little bit more white to this mixture, just because I want it to be slightly lighter. So I'm just adding that white in there. And then I'm going to paint the whole of, I would say, the sort of base and body of my plant pot. But this time I'm going to use up and down brush strokes instead of side to side, just so you can see the different areas of the pot. So again, just take your time. We're just covering up that white paint we've got as our base and just colour in that whole area. What we can do now with that darker shade that we've mixed up is just adding a little bit of water to it and giving it a good mix just to make sure it's, it's not too dry and it's quite fluid. We can then just pick this up, dash any excess off on the side of your palette and then go back into your plant pot. And what I quite like to do with this is just add a little bit of shadow. So just in the areas where you want to differentiate between the top section and the bottom section of the plant pot, you can just do a line. So I've just done a line along there. I might even do one at the top here, just where the stalks meet the plant pot. Maybe even bring it down to the side. And then as well, if you want to, you can always do the sides of the body or the base of your pot as well. You can almost even blend it out a little bit because the paint underneath is still wet. You can be quite abstract and scratchy with your paintbrush just to create a bit of texture, create a bit of shadow. Just blending it in with that shade you've got underneath. We're now going to give our little brush a really good wash in our water and you can just give it a little dry on your kitchen towel. What we're going to do now is move over to that darker shade of green that we made. So I just add a couple of drops of water to it just to get a little bit more fluidity back into the paint so it's not too dry when we're going into paint with it. And then what we can do is just dash off any excess paint on the side of your palette. And going back into our leaves, this is where we can add the sort of skeleton of the leaf. So the little bit in the middle that sort of comes down from the middle and then you've got little lines coming off it. And again, because we're painting leaves and they're natural and they're nature, you can be quite free with this. So I would just start as light as you possibly can, maybe even just pushing the very, very tip of the bristles onto your leaf and just do a sort of line, just a thin one going down, it doesn't have to be straight. And then picking up some more of that paint, you can just start doing little, little almost like vines coming off from that middle section. Maybe they've got a little bit of a squiggle to them. Just along the middle part of the leaves. And the bigger ones might have a few more, the smaller ones might just have a few. So just vary them as, as you go. 
And remember, if ever your paint feels like it's getting a bit dry, just add that water back in, really mix it up. It just helps when we come to drawing thin lines. If the paint is a bit too thick and a bit too dry, it's always harder to draw sort of nice crisp lines with it. Now's your moment to take a little step back from your painting and decide if there's anything else you'd like to add. As soon as you've finished adding in all the details that you want and your painting is nice and dry, you have then completed your masterpiece. I hope that you all enjoyed painting that with me today. This is actually a really fun one to do because if you have a few canvases, you could always do a whole series of these with different colours, with different tones, with different house plants, different coloured pots. You can go wild with all of your different paintings and then have them all on display. And if you happen to take some pictures of your paintings, then don't forget to tag us on Instagram at Brush and Bubbles because we love seeing all of your creations. Thank you all so much for joining me today. I hope you had fun. And if you want to check out any of our other tutorials, then simply click the link above and it'll take you to a whole gallery of different paintings you can choose from. Thanks everyone. Bye.